Hey everybody, welcome back to Plate Up. Today we're playing with It's GNG and we have a seed that guarantees every single pie before day 15. That means by the time we get to overtime, we will have meat, mushroom, veggie, apple, and pumpkin pie that we will have to serve. The most difficult pie is either the apple or the pumpkin. As for the apple, the pie crust has to be baked first and the apples have to be sliced. And for the pumpkin, the pumpkin must have the seeds removed and discarded and then chopped as well. The all pies run seems fairly doable as each new pie will give us minus 15%, which will keep our customer count pretty low. Also, if you're curious about the all soup run, I died on overtime three, so it wasn't really enough to make into another video, but hopefully this one goes better than that. But anyways, if you like the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, I am excited to uh, to try and go far in this all pies run. Oh yeah. I think it'll be good. And also like pies drop the amount of customers so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think it'll be pretty good to go far. And since it's guaranteed, that we get pies up until day 15. Like we don't have to worry about sides. We can try and get metal tables for after that. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're gonna serve like maniacs here. I said we do the exact same pathing and proccing as we did, like same tech and everything. Yeah, let's see if we get the uh <coughs> the research desk on day one. We just too nice. easy. They've uh they've kind of given up on their uh, witty jokes on the restaurant names. They I just, agree. They just this named this one pie. Fruit. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Plates again. Plates again. I'm in. That sounds lovely. I feel like they should just let you start with eight plates at this point. I feel like everyone always buys an eight stack on the first day and it's just like 20 gold. <laughs> yeah. Actually, there's a lot of um the community members who have a direct line to the devs now are in my chat. Oh. So uh, we're, work we're working on some things behind the scenes. We're infiltrating their ranks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it comes from very good. I have very good source tells me that I will be included in the next uh, played up league or like tournament game oh yeah. that's right they have um well i should also say that not only did they promise me that they said that i would win so oh they wow. might have just been yanking my chain a little bit maybe so oh may i have that pie please yes and now chat is telling me to go to the dev hour <laughs> horrible, 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 horrible individuals, let me tell you. <laughs> so when uh when uh when are you thinking the new sap update's coming out? Um They're teasing it, right? I've I've been uh I've been misleading everyone. I've been saying any day now for the past <laughs> for the past two months. <laughs> Scooby, you're too big of a YouTuber to to, to spread misinformation. I, I it's my belief. I like <laughs> Cause they were You're like, <laughs> cause they're like the new set, like hope in November or December. And I was like, well, typically they give you like a month of time for the test server. So I was like October, no doubt for the test server. And it's about halfway through November already. So <laughs> I would be, wait, didn't they just release a pack? No. Wait, what happened to this golden pack? Right? That's, that's what, what I'm waiting for. Yeah. That's where we, oh my god, it's been a really long time. It has. They teased, like, they did the 10 days, like, the 10 teases, like, over a month ago, I think. Yeah. Maybe it's, like, horrendously unbalanced, so they can't, in good faith, allow us access. So I think, I can't remember where I heard, but I think, like, the reason it's stuck is they're waiting on, like, the artists or something. Really? Or, like, the, uh, the voice actors, maybe... How hard is it to make a couple animal sounds? I don't know. What is a what does a catfish sound like? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really hope they just combine the the black cat and the uh, <laughs> uh, like a goldfish and just play them on top of each other. Dude, is there out of curiosity catfish where you live? Like, can people go catfishing? Mm-hmm. Have you like how about noodling? Have you heard of noodling? Yes, I I think you can do that. Like, I mean, I, I'm oh sure you can do it anywhere. I've, I've personally never done it. It sounds terrifying. 
You just put your hand in like a hole, and then a catfish is like, that's delicious. <laughs> and then Chomp tries, down on this little, tries like, to eat your worm. arm. I would love to go noodling. Man versus nature. And it's like a, a test of strength. Uh, you ever, you ever seen the show River Monsters? Oh, I didn't think it was real. Oh, it's I, real. I now know it is, yeah. Yeah, that show's great. I think he uh, retired, but he did one on noodling. He did. So he actually retired because he caught everything he wanted to. Yeah, I think, like, he was, like, my only thing, like, I'm going to do next is, uh, like, go to the ocean. But he was like, I don't think I want to tackle the ocean. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to creatures. retire. Wow, what a way to end your career. You seek out to catch all the nastiest things in the water, and you just, you just straight up do it. First try, bank it. I mean, that's the Holy lie. Holy smokes. Like, you leave a legend, then. Maybe that's why he didn't want to do uh, ocean monsters, because he was like, there's no way I could finish this. Or maybe he know he would. Or maybe he knows something that we don't. Oh. Like, he knows of some secret hidden creature that yeah. if brought to the surface. Oh god, would spell the end for humanity. That is messed up. Why is this door not working? There we go. <laughs> it was I, a pull door. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a I think you should leave? I think you should I don't think so, no. Oh, it's I just like get a, told that at parties. It's it's really uh it's really funny. It's like a sketch comedy, but there's one where uh he has like a job interview and he's leaving the restaurant and he's like pulling on a push door. And the guy that gave him the interview was like, oh, I think, I think you push. And he's like, oh, no, it goes both ways. And then he just like <laughs> proceeds to like rip the door off the hinges and then leaves the restaurant. <laughs> um, yeah. This Anything looks good. you want? Do you, we want blueprint, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Okay. All right. We got Go. four groups. So I guess I'm going to just call everyone. Or I'll, good. I might wait a sec. Hey, hey, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Also, if you want Open Chef, you uh. Oh yeah, I gotta turn some Open Chef back on. Good point. I also have been informed that the application is just straight up called Chef, and you press the button, Open Chef, and it opens what is called Chef. But at this point, it's just called Open Chef to me. Mmm, <laughs> that that sounds wrong. Yeah. Because in the description, it says, open the chef application. Oh. But it's it's open chef, you know? I guess they didn't think that one too clearly through. No. We cannot be held at fault for their, like, poor naming. True. All right. I say we just, uh, we serve all the meats. And then we'll uh, we'll serve the pumpkins after. All the pumpkins. I'm in. So only only two more meats. So just one more. Perfect. Perfect. Last one coming right here. We'll start on the pumpkins. Okay. Pumpkin pies now. These will take a hot second. Yep. We need a uh, four total. You can hand me uh, garbage if you need to. Okay, perfect. All right, big garbage coming over. Oh, place, uh, place it on their table. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. It's not. It's not on yet. That's none of my viewers. All right, I got pies for everyone. Holy, this is a little brutal though. Oh my goodness! Buck alert. How we doing over there? Oh, you know, we're, we're getting by. We're getting by. I didn't realize these cook so much faster than um, a normal yeah. pie. All right, just two more. And then um, we got time for you to research as well. Oh, awesome. Oh, this is, this is the hard work back here, man. Yeah. Let's see. I'll take the garbage out. All right, all right, all right. The last one right here. Man, I I want to make myself a pumpkin pie. I haven't had pumpkin pie, pie in so long. Yeah. 
I, I feel like pumpkin pie is one of those things where it's easier to buy than it is to make. Like, it's just not worth, like, like mayonnaise, you know? Yeah, like, it's so, like, standardized that, like, homemade pumpkin pie isn't that much better than, like, a Costco pumpkin pie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, you've convinced me. I'll go to Costco. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's probably $6 US. You get a pumpkin pie that's bigger than your steering wheel, man. <laughs> it's like a it's like a ten person pumpkin pie. <laughs> I'm also I'm Can't a big fan of a uh, I'm a big fan of pumpkin bread. Ooh, that's an underrated little dessert. I love pumpkin bread. Uh, I I I like it as long as there's like actual pumpkin in there. Mm hmm But it cannot just be pumpkin spiced bread. I think that's a scam. Oh, no, no, no. At least the one I make, you get the, like, canned pumpkin. <coughs> At least the brand in the U.S. is, like, Libby's 100% canned pumpkin. And you just put a whole one of those in there. And is it mushy? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I I'm picking up what you're putting down. Banana yeah. bread, but make it with pumpkins. Exactly. I get it. Banana bread's great as well. Ooh, okay, bad take inbound. I don't really like banana bread. Interesting. What if it's got walnuts in it? Mm, that make it better or worse? Uh, slightly better, I guess. What's your favorite type of uh sweet bread? Sweet bread? Yes. Wait, aren't sweet breads um innards? What? Like if you're like, dude, I I'm down for some sweet breads. You're eating, you're eating like internal organs of animals. Yes, chat says yes. What? Yeah. I'm talking so about banana bread. <laughs> Right, right, but a I'm sweet not talking bread about organs. Else. No, but that's the innards, the sweet breads, and, and and head cheese is also something heinous. Okay, all right, so I, bread that is sweet. What is your favorite? Right, right. <laughs> well, now I'm curious what your favorite sweet breads are. are I'm a big fan. I don't mind a good old chicken liver every what now. What are and my then, options? <laughs> Well, look inside yourself and then pick something out. I mean, like, for an animal. is anything in the animal considered innards? <clears throat> okay, so the brain is not a sweetbread, I'm pretty sure. That's head cheese. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right? Uh... Sorry, Fanatic is informing me that you are a hussy as well. Holy smokes. But no, the head is, I'm told, is awfuls. But not awful, A W F U L. Awful. These are awful. All, these are all just made up words. <laughs> these are not made up words. These are a thing. If I go into a restaurant and I see they have awful sweet bread, I'm going to think it's bread that is sweet and does not taste good. Oh, not no, no, no. The brains. Well, okay, I thought brains were... No, brains are not head cheese, despite you thinking it would be. I I said, I have no clue what I'm saying. I just said that... Head cheese is like a... Uh, imagine jello... You got but, the research? Oh, don't serve him, don't serve him. Yeah, yeah. Um, imagine jello, but with bits of animal in it. And those bits of animal are like... Isn't that isn't that what gelatin is? Isn't gelatin like horse hooves or Ooh. something? Okay, yeah, jello with pulp. Visible pulp is head oh, cheese, I'm pretty sure. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, no, no! It's like it's like a thing. I don't even like Jello with like cut up fruit in it. You're telling me jellied eels are not your favorite afternoon snack? You don't like Jello with cut up fruit in it? No, because it's normally like honeydew. <laughs> what? Also, what are the innards of an eel? Isn't it just all eel? <laughs> <laughs> Like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where the hell is our last time we had a dishwasher? Hmm. Uh, right, we we got the, the uh, we got the blueprint desk earlier last time. <coughs> uh, oh. So we haven't we haven't been getting rolls. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, you might as well buy these rugs then. Okay. So, paid. regardless of uh, your jellied eel cheese. What's your favorite? How about pastry? Does that work? <laughs> sure, but I, I'm just, I, I'm just blown away by this. Like, um, you don't like fruit and Jello. What about oranges and Jello? I mean, I'd rather just eat an orange and then have Jello on its own. The mix of textures is weird. Really, it's the tech. Do you want to buy these rugs, by the way? Uh, sure. Okay. 
the mix of texture is weird, but fruits are soft and jello is soft as well. I'm not a big jello guy in, in the first place, so don't think I'm like going to bat for yeah. jello. I'm just like, but I think fruit and jello makes it significantly better. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a fan of jello in general, but like if I'm Do going like to fruit? eat jello, I'd prefer it just to be like just plain jello. Do you like fruit much? Mm-hmm. You do? Yeah. But I'd like it to be, you know, just by itself. Do you like fruit in salads? Um, I like apples in salad, like a crisp, like Granny Smith. Okay. Crazy but, you picked the worst apple, but go on. What's your favorite apple? <laughs> oh, the Red Delicious. I mean, it's in the... No, no, I hate the Red Delicious. <laughs> okay, have you actually heard about how Red Delicious used to actually be the best tasting apple and now it's the worst? No. Uh, yeah, so there's a whole video on it. Uh, can I get a pumpkin? Yeah, yeah, I got a pumpkin. But basically, out. like, if you ask, like, maybe your grandparents or your parents or something, they'll be like, yeah, I used to eat Red Delicious all the time. And it's because it was the best tasting apple, but then because everyone loved it, they wanted to make it more, like, visually appealing. So they sacrificed all of the, uh, <laughs> flavor for making it, like, that really dark, waxy, like, red color. But apparently so it used to... So we did this to ourselves. Basically. Apparently, uh, Red Delicious apples used to look like, uh, like a gala apple. Like, they used to have some yellow in them, and they used to not be so, like, just dark red. But now, like, and now they have like that grainy, like mushy texture. But it's because they uh, sacrificed it to make it look better. So, do you think there should be? We should revert back to the days of old. Um, I mean, I think there's just there's so many more apples that like replace it. I think Red Delicious just like should be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do wonder who's buying them, because it's not me, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, they are not good. Chad, who's bought a Red Delicious recently? Who's keeping up the whole industry right here? There's actually um, a researcher in Washington who's responsible for like a large majority of the apple uh, breeds we have today. He's like the godfather of apples. Yeah, he does uh, research out of the university and he fathered what is a lot of people's like favorite apples now. Wow. What a, uh, yeah. what a title to have. Right? The godfather of apples. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Put that on your resume, man. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I think I just need two pumpkins. Potentially All four right. pumpkins. Okay. I didn't find a research desk. Also, uh, I'm told to pass the message on. Uh, you are indeed, in fact, a hussy. I, I am Fair enough. the best A to Z streamer. Oh, okay. Their words, not mine. That's crazy. I think it's disrespectful, honestly. Do you have all achievements in Super Auto Pit? Well, that's not really the measure of what makes you a good A to Z streamer, in my opinion. Mm. It's it's a multifaceted situation. One of the facets, yes, is achievements, but the other facets, you know, hard to put into words. In fact, maybe some would argue immeasurable. Oh. Wait, apparently this the godfather of apples trademarked his last apple. That seems like BM. That's like the uh, the guy that like trademarked Vanta Black and wouldn't let anyone oh. else use it. Yeah, but isn't that guy an like actual like douchebag? Uh, yes. Because then there was like a guy that made like the pinkest pink or something and was like right. anyone can use it except for this guy because <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to see Vanta Black, though. Like, it, it can't even be conveyed on camera, right? Exactly. Man, and he's keeping it away from the rest of us? Well, I, th Dude, I think, like, people now. learn to uh, recreate it. But is it bang on? I think so. I think it's just, like, his formula that's, like, he owns the patent. Wait, the it. guy redid the blackest black, and there's even more. It's more black now. So he lied? Then banned the OG guy. Oh my god, wait. The guy who made the pink made a new format of Blackest Black. Oh. That is, an, that is hilarious. <laughs> let's see. Do we, do we want to... Let's research a sink. Oh yeah, good idea. Did you um, bink a dumbwaiter? Or just happened to hit? Uh, I just happened to hit. I was looking for a research oh, desk and we didn't roll it. Wait, the, the reason behind the apples is here. They w 
didn't want to repeat what happened with gala apples. They invented them so apples would be tasty again, but didn't patent it, and soon other breeders started repeating the same crap they did with the Red Delicious. That's why galas are variable now. Interesting. What the heck? Yeah, honestly, I mean, I, Granny Smith, I like sour things. I like tart things, so that's why that's my favorite. But other than that, I would say, like, Honey Crisp, I think, are pretty solid. I'm big on Honey Crisp. But yeah, no, I, I love a Granny Smith. Dude, I got um this, it's cold pressed, 100% honey crisp apple juice. Ooh. It is the most beautiful thing I have ever one tasted and seen. It's like this gold, gorgeous golden color. I don't even know how I much it veggie. was. You need a veggie? Oh, uh -huh. shit. Sure. Thank you. I forgot we're making different ones. You want a rolling pin? Sure. It's gone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really want it. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I have a juicer, and it's not, like, because, you know, like, fresh press juice is so expensive. Yeah. It's because it actually takes, like, that much fruit. Like, I don't save money making the juice, so. I, I don't mind, like, juicing my own fruit, but mm -hmm. I hate when it gets frothy. True. You know? Well, the, I got a, uh, I got a that cold press bark. juicer. Oh, so you're real fancy. Yeah, is it, okay, it was. But uh, is it not just like a hydraulic press, basically? It is. Like, could I go like, to Home Home Hardware and just like score me one? Yeah, but I think hydraulic presses are more expensive. What if I get a manual one? That's like a lever action sort of situation. <laughs> like, you think just be like strong you just, maybe. And but then I think the the issue is just like straining out the pulp yourself. I don't know. I got a is good it, deal on it. It was used, and I used it a couple times, and then it was like I was using a whole bag of like. 15 apples to get like two cups of juice do we want is it this really that crazy uh sure yeah yeah yoinky yoinky that much apples for juice eh it's basically like you you use like apples and then you like combine it with like a really cheap i don't know what i'm doing this plate like maybe you combine it with a bunch of carrots because carrots are so cheap <coughs> and the taste is about the same at least that's what I was doing. Interesting. Let's see, I need another veggie. Uh, okay, hold on, let me cook it. It's gonna take me a second. If you wanna serve uh, pumpkin, you could do that. I don't even know who wants it, you want it. Pumpkin is top, yeah. And then... These guys are done. One of each, got it. Yeah, we already got, got the meat. meat already? Yeah. So do you regularly juice? Are you one of those kind of guys? So I, there was like, it's called a CSA. I don't know what it stands for, but you like basically. Certified. What? Yep. Nope. <laughs> Go on, yeah, CSA. But you basically like pay like a farm, like money at the beginning of the season to like help them run their farm. And then every week, like they give you produce to like thank you and pay you back for it. Oh. Uh, so that's why I got the juicer because I signed up for that. But then and they you were just, just had too much produce. Yeah, I had so much produce. But then they were giving me like twenty squash a week and like nothing else. So then I quit <laughs> the uh, the service the next season. <laughs> Damn, I bet they're really regretting it now. They knew they shouldn't have done that. Like, oh shit, all we have left is squash. I send it to that one guy. <laughs> all right, we need one now? veggie. Yeah, I think I don't know. No I think else. they were just because they like would write a little letter. And they'd give you like little recipes for what you got that week. And they were like, yeah, like, we're sorry. Like the squash is doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's a thing they have to apologize for. But I mean, like clearly, cause you were unhappy. There's only so many things you can do with yellow squash. <laughs> I always think I'm gonna love squash and then I buy it. And I, it's more trouble to make it than I care to do. Yeah, I just I just roasted it. I didn't know what else to do with it. That's all the only thing I know how to do. And so, maybe soup? But I don't have much else in my repertoire. Let's see. Let's get the blueprint cabinet. Do we want? I'm just gonna look what this is soaking. Oh nice. You wanna just buy it? I think we're going soaking sinks, yeah. The the soaking sink buff is huge. It's so nice. It, it's amazing. The game it needed it really badly though. I might just uh keep frozen squash in the freezer great for roasting soups and pasta. I, I think butternut squash is overrated though. 
I, I, I don't think it deserves being the go-to squash. I think acorn squashes are underrated. Uh, acorn squash is good. I yeah. love acorn squash. I think I like the shape potentially more than I even like the squash itself. Interesting. But uh, I know, right? What a weird statement. <laughs> but it, it's true. I, I, I feel very passionately about it. <laughs> Huh. Man, if you were one of those streamers who didn't cook at all or like had no worldly experiences, this would be a very different discussion. I would have said, I think acorn squashes are great. And you would have said, hmm, mm hmm, and <laughs> left it at that. <laughs> What's an acorn squash? I mean, I, I can talk about McDonald's all day long if you want that as well. <laughs> I actually uh, want to bring up the, uh, the IHOP versus Denny's debate. Which Don't I you was dare show up on my stream <laughs> vouching for IHOP. I just like it's it's crazy to me because like I I don't feel like I'm like an outlier. Like at least where I live, like no one likes Denny's and everyone likes IHOP. Why? What are you getting at IHOP that is so good? I'm getting just like the Western omelet, and the Western omelet that's like eggs, Scooty, Scooty. That's eggs. You can make that in a fry pan at home, dude. So Why are you okay. That out? So. The reason IHOP is so great is you get pancakes with anything you order. Pancakes come with what? everything. Yeah. So like I get Wait, the I not, get Oh, can you get that bin? Can you get that bin? Oh yeah. I get the uh the western omelet and it comes with a like a stack of pancakes. Okay, hold on. This does change discussions. I didn't realize you guys free pancakes? That's like 90% of their menu. What, what else well, is there to buy? It's not free, but like it just comes with any meal you order. Like instead of getting like, I don't know, like fries or like a steamed vegetable, you just get pancakes. Pancakes. Like a, a stack of pancakes. Yeah, a short stack of pancakes. And you can order pancakes on their own. And you can do like the thing where you get like pancakes and like bacon eggs, like like the all-star special type thing or like the Grand Slam meal. Uh, but Whoa. yeah, no, and like... Or if you get that like is incredible. Uh, yeah, or if you get like they do like country fried steak comes with pancakes. That is okay. So a pancake. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> a pancake stack here is like ten bucks for three pancakes. So that's why I'm not hype about it. It's I'm mm. not gonna pay ten dollars for batter. That's crazy. That's fair. But if it's offered free, then perhaps. I could treat so I myself one to a veggie. little bit of IHOP. Yep, I got the veggie coming. They do wait, have wait, like wait. the, they have the specialty uh, pancakes. Like they have like, I don't know, like Trace Leche pancakes or something. Sure. Which it's like the expensive ones. Right, right, right double but, veggie. and they're still a pancake though, right? Yeah. It's just got like all like the condensed Different milk topics. and stuff like that. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know if that's enough for me to still think about IHOP, though. It's just so not good. Like, there's a reason why they're giving them out for free, Scooty. So they're it's... not very tasty. Side items are not free. <laughs> well, you're you're getting them free with everything you said, right? It's <laughs> free is such a weird way <laughs> to say it. <laughs> so I walk in and they're like, they already know I'm getting pancakes. So like, do they bring pancakes out? <laughs> no, it just it's a side item on your menu. <laughs> So you could potentially not get pancakes. Correct. Like if you go to a burger restaurant, like most of the time, yeah, you get fries with your burger. But sure, like, yeah. Not everything. Let's see, I need two pumpkins. Yep. Got pumpkins coming up. So even when it's offered to you for free, you sometimes don't take it. <laughs> it's not offered for free. But you, I don't understand. So it's a side item, right? It side is. Item. Most a things side come. Side most item. things come with a, a pancakes, <laughs> but they're not free. But they're not free. I need one more. The cost of your okay, meal. Thank you for, yes, sure. <laughs> so what are you giving up to get pancakes? Is, it would be my like next question. I mean, like I could probably like, get French fries. French fries. I could get French fries instead, probably. Like I would be like, can I substitute pancakes for French fries? And they'd be like, sure. Oh, but you have to ask. Well, pancakes is like the. What is default that comes with the meal? Right. But you could substitute House of pancakes. It. Exactly. Okay, so then this is this is, now I'm back at square one. Is that they can't even give me their pancakes on the side? It makes me think that it's you know it's not convincing me to have them. 
Oh, 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 shit. Oh, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I'll try and block I, I didn't even I'll block him. I'll block him. I'll block him. You're good. I'll block him. Oh, nice block, dude. Scooty the linebacker. You're crazy. Yeah, look at this. They're not Holy, getting by. Holy, look at that. Per we, got we got the worst rolls, though. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Okay, so the, yeah, the I hopped at, um, in Canada, pancakes are an entree. Like, so you, don't you can, get, you can get them as an entree. Right, right, right. And you can as well here in Canada. Yeah. But they're not really a side order. That's crazy. Interesting. Yeah, and then like Denny's, like, the last time I went to Denny's, like, it wasn't that the food was bad. It's just like every Denny's, at least here, the service is always horrible. It's a fucking Denny's. What do you want? You want to get down and rub your feet? No, I'm just saying, like, that's why, like, the I, the service at IHOP is typically better than the service at Denny's. Do they spit in your food? At neither place, I hope. Okay, well then you're doing okay at a Denny's then. As long as the food, to me, if the food comes out hot, I mean, I don't need much better service than that. So what's your gripe with IHOP? <laughs> IHOP because the food is disgusting. <laughs> interesting <laughs> it's it's just not even yummy it's 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 for all the reasons why i would go to a restaurant i hop does not satisfy any of them interesting Probably you this dish rack eh? uh yeah Here see i i feel the same way about denny's <laughs> 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 but denny's okay like a skillet at denny's chat tell me your mouth isn't watering thinking about it it is what's a so, skillet uh, What's a skillet? Really? Um, is it just like eggs okay. and like potatoes, like scrambled? Uh, not really. It's okay. So imagine like a fajita pan and then put home fries in the bottom, toss an egg in there. However you like it scrambled, sunny side up, whatever cheese, onions, peppers. And that's sort of like a skillet. Interesting. A fajita with, um, with potatoes on the bottom would be like a pretty, pretty reasonable situation and then eggs instead of and, and then eggs yeah meat and then no tortilla there's tortilla in a fajita i mean the tortillas are on the side and then you put the fajita stuff in a i tortilla. guess so yeah 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 no no tortillas <laughs> maybe you get pancakes i feel like we're on two different wavelengths <laughs> dude if you come to vancouver we'll, i'll take you to some canadian food you're gonna be like what the hell am i ordering some of it will be good some of take, it will not be good take me to the denny's <laughs> uh okay i don't know if denny's is a bring a friend from out of town situation <laughs> but ihop certainly isn't is what i'm trying to get at <laughs> Oh man, I'm dying, dude. You couldn't do this on a day where I didn't, you know, we, we both aren't recovering. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I, my passion for IHOP uh, goes past anything else. I do feel like we have crazy contradictory uh, flavored preferences. Well, but I mean, they, they serve the same stuff. So. Right. Maybe, right, I don't okay, know. Maybe, maybe it's just like the Denny's up in. Uh, like BC is just better than the IHOP up in BC, and then in the southeast it's the other way around. What's um, is what's okay? The, what's the go-to like drunk food where you are? Um, uh, I mean like Taco Bell. Taco Bell, okay, that's pretty pretty standard. Or I mean like, uh, there. I feel like yeah, and then um, I don't know. There's a place called Cookout that's like a local fast food place in the southeast. Mm. Open late? Yeah, open to like three. Oh. But yeah, no, maybe maybe the Denny's thing, maybe it's a local thing. Cause like, uh, my brother lives in Australia and he said that like KFC, like everyone loves KFC over in Australia. But like KFC's here- big in Australia, yeah. Yeah, but like here, like KFC is kind of bad. At least like in my it, opinion. It, it is kind of bad. <laughs> KFC is um suspiciously cheap to me. Yeah. Like so, it's- Oh yeah. I was gonna say so maybe you you've never had uh, good old Southern IHOP. <laughs> Is IHOP even Southern? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <clears throat> they're definitely appropriating that from Waffle House. <laughs> Waffle House yeah, is like the the best of the uh, of the three like breakfast places at least for me. 
Right. What's the best pizza joint for you? Uh, I don't know. Not I'd, local. Pick national chain. National chain? I'd, I national would probably chain. get Domino's. But, like, there's so many local places, and I haven't gotten, like, takeout pizza from, like, a chain in a while. Do you guys have, um, Panago's? Uh, no. Okay, that's a Canadian thing. Okay. I will say, I, I, I tried, there's, like, a Detroit-style, uh pizza hut pizza i tried like a month or two ago and it was actually really good but i hadn't i hadn't had pizza hut for a while before that detroit style mm -hmm. so deep deep dish no it's chicago uh, what's it's, detroit style so it's deep dish oh, uh, i need a meat sorry yeah it's deep dish but instead of like the uh the crust going up the edges it's just like burnt cheese on the edges so it's very Ooh. very crispy i think it's better than chicago style Whoa, we any Chicago people, Chicagoans in chat? Anyone can defend that? Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big deep dish guy, personally. Yeah, D Detroit style, if you ever see it, it's, uh, it's, it's good. Worth it? It's real good. Ooh. Hot honey has finally made its way to Vancouver on our pizzas, and it's like the biggest trend right now. Okay. Everywhere so, is serving it. So I think, honey, uh, you got research done? Yeah, it's all done. Okay. I think honey on pizza is fantastic. Yep. And I went somewhere that hey, it was just hot honey and like chicken, and that was it. And I was like, this is the best thing I've ever had. And I went to, uh, do you have like one of the, uh, like, it's kind of like Subway, but for pizza? Uh, fire crust. Uh, right? sure. We or have Ignite or like, uh, Ignite. Yeah. Ours is called like Ignite. Mod Pizza. But, um, I went there and I was like, hey, like, do you guys have honey? And they were like, uh, yeah, we do for like one of the, like the salads or something. And I was like, can you make that the base of my pizza? I was like, just like a, like a just honey. Well, that that's like the way I had it. It was honey and cheese. Like there wasn't like marinara or anything. So I was like, can I get honey as the base? And they were like, uh, okay. And I was like, it doesn't take a lot. Just like a tiny bit. And the guy proceeds to put as much as you would marinara on a pizza of honey, like a whole ladle of honey onto this yeah. pizza. And then he puts it in the oven where they bake it, and you can just right. see the honey like melting and just spreading across the entire brick oven. And then like, <laughs> and then every like, fuck this guy, yeah, man. <laughs> everyone that was with me, like they said, the underside of their pizza was just soggy and tasted like honey. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just wait until a place that actually has hot honey pizza comes to town, and I won't uh, ruin everyone's day. <laughs> To be fair, I would have, like, if I were the pizza pizzeria man, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah, because, I mean, you he, were getting a equal amount. Know. Right. Uh, we. I can do that. Yeah, is that going to be okay for you? I mean, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, okay, hold on. Let me go fill my cabinet. Wait, we're actually in a better spot here. Yeah. I'm big on honey on pizza. I like sweet, but I'm not a fan of pineapple. I know, right? Start the age-old discussion, but I, I'm not a huge pineapple guy. I'm a big mm -hmm. corn guy on pizza. Corn's good. Corn on pizza. Dude, chat was r railing me for that one. I re There's I really not, insane. like, anything that just, like... Like, if the pizza... If it's good, like, the topping, I think, doesn't matter. If they, like, know how to make it, I'm fine with whatever. What about anchovies? You an anchovy guy? Uh, yeah. Anchovies fine. Interesting. I've never had it. Are there bones? No. They remove them or you just don't notice them? I th think you just... I don't know. I think the anchovy... No, it's gotta have bones, right? What am I talking about? It's gotta have bones. Right, right. So you just don't notice them, probably. Uh, I, they, or maybe they debone them. They are pickled. So I wonder if like the pickling pickled? process... Yeah, they're very no, like... Are they, are they tinned or something? Like canned? Yeah, they're very like briny. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. At least the ones I've had. Always? I... All Chat, the is that an always thing? Wait, we have apple pies now, too. We gotta be careful. Yeah, I just won't take the order until... Okay. This is where we had the problem. Exactly. <laughs> right, right. The incident. <laughs> what am I looking for? Research desk? Uh, probably. Conveyors would be okay too soon. And mixers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, no. Research desk will give us scaling. They're packed in, they're cooked and pack, packed in salt and oil. Dude, have you been, um, 
I've been getting a ton of like tinned fish date nights on my TikTok. Weird. Like it, it started as one person who's like, we eat a canned fish every single Friday night. I'm like, okay, that's pretty unique. Sure, I get down for it. And now it's everywhere. It's like, here's, here's your next idea for Friday night fish night. And it's always just canned fish? It's canned fish, yeah. I love canned fish Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound very romantic, but they've assured me it is. <laughs> I owe you a meat, hold on. Um, I, I have no problem though with canned fish. Oh crap, here, I'll take this one back. I also, I have I have one counter right here, play stuff on. Yeah, no, I don't mind canned fish. Like canned tuna's fine. Canned salmon's not bad. Uh, I don't think I'm with you on those. Sorry, I mean, like, I like the canned fish, like... Okay, so, like, in Portugal, it's a huge thing. Portugal and Spain, they do, like, very, like, seasoned fish in the cans. Hmm. Like, so, like, they're packed in, like, an oil, usually. Really quite fancy, actually. Oh. And, and that's what they're doing. They're not just giving you a can of tuna and saying, have at her. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't mind canned tuna. <laughs> Serve it on like nothing a Ritz cracker or something. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with it. I find it crazy when I see like those tuna. Oh wow, metal table. And we got freezer as well. Ooh. What I, I but I find it crazy when we uh you can go to like this like a gas station and buy tuna sensation snacks. Mm -hmm. And it's like not refrigerated at all. How does that work, right? Canned stuff is crazy. It doesn't make any sense to me. Just because you put it in a can doesn't mean it can last forever. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. Exactly. That's I don't understand it. Oh, I got a can of this really dicey bacon jam, and I'm terrified to eat it. Oh, bacon jam's good. I know, but it's pretty old, man. It's like five oh. years old, six. It, it actually, it might be as old as... Like, I swear to God, I started dating Tegan like eight years ago and she had that in her fridge. Okay, then unopened. yeah, that's probably, is it in a jar or in a can? It's in a jar, but the jar is airtight. See, so I don't know. does that really know. change? I don't know. Even if they're both airtight, I would trust a can over a jar. <laughs> right, I'm totally the same way. Why is that? Maybe it's because we can see it. <laughs> Maybe. In a jar? I don't know. Can like more oxygen get through glass than aluminum? No way. Yeah. Right. There's zero so. chance, right? Get it and try it now, chat. What if I what if it what if it's it? And I croak. Is this really a risk we're willing to take? We just got to day eleven, believers. <laughs> like I'm sure it's fine to eat once or twice, but I don't know about downing the whole thing. I've served it recently at a party too, and I just didn't eat it. <laughs> so it it's been opened and reclosed. No no no. I've got I've got a couple batches. Why do you have so many jars of this bacon jam? <laughs> okay, you're gonna... Because Tegan's mom jarred it, and so she did a big batch, and she's vegetarian. So she doesn't even eat bacon. Uh... So that's like more reason to be more suspicious, right? <laughs> so she made it. Right, right. But won't eat it herself. Isn't that a red flag? That's Maybe. a huge one to me. I'm gonna go up to six right here, I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe this money will add up. Chad said that's sociopathic behavior to serve it at a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a bit of an overstatement. You don't want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't you, come to my house you, for a party. But you don't want to throw it away. You can't just don't want to be wasteful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You see what I'm putting down here. You would do the same thing, right, Scooty? For sure. That's right. Huh. Uh. But yeah, no one died. No one got sick. That's good. It's just botulism, right? That's the big one. You want this portioner? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want it. That's awesome. Also, I, I've, I've been trying to keep an eye on this. I could have missed a research test, but I don't think there's been one. Uh, we have not gotten one. Okay. Okay. I think we're good here. But actually, I'm bringing it back to pizza, man. I'm a big Little Caesars guy. Interesting. Little Caesars is fine. Just basic cheese. 
five dollar hot and ready. That's it. So there was a thing at uh where I went to school, and the Little Caesars they they claim to be the only one that did it. I assume like other places like did it or if you ask them to, but it was oh we need one oh, apple one I got pumpkin. It, got it. But they uh it was called you could you know the crazy crust like their garlic sticks. Uh the crazy bread. Or Wait crazy, what the heck? Or the crazy bread. Wait, why can't... Oh, because you have to cook it first for apple pie. Mm -hmm. Did you cook just throw your chopped apple in the garbage? Yeah, it was oxidizing. I'm not going to serve that. Are you crazy? Whatever. What kind okay. of establishment <laughs> do you think we are, huh? Why don't I just get the maple jam, huh? The bacon jam from my fridge. We serve that, okay? <laughs> Charge them good money for it, too, while we're at it. So you'll serve it to your friends, but not your paying customers. No way. No, because I'm legally responsible for them. Oh... Okay, it's a fiduciary duty to these people. That's Let's why the see. guy who had foot lettuce at Burger King got in a bunch of shit. But he's famous now. What? You're no, I don't, I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what a comeback story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyways, the, uh, the, you know, the, you know, the crazy bread at Little Caesars? Yes. They yep. had, it was, all right, two veggies. They had a, a thing, they called it the crazy crust. And you could get the okay. $5 pizza, but if you paid $6, they would put the crazy bread, like garlic spread, on the crust of the entire pizza. So only for a dollar extra. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's pretty, that's genius marketing. Yeah. it doesn't cost them anything, right? They got the ingredients right there. Also, I'm pretty sure the Burger King foot lettuce, like the, the voice, that like weird voice on the video, I'm pretty sure they like do voice acting. How do you remember it so vividly? I didn't even know there was a voice in the video. Uh, Did this affect you quite heavily? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, have you heard of the TV show Smiling Friends? I think they got no. that. I got. They got the Burger King foot lettuce guy to voice like a character. That is a crazy career shift. Public right, health see, menace uh, into pumpkin voice and acting. apple. On it. Uh, did you see the corn kid retired? <laughs> I did. At the ripe age of what, like nine? <laughs> yeah, something like I was just telling chat. I was like, uh. he left on a high note. <laughs> Leave, like, you know, call it quits before you get called cringe. That's the way I want to live as an influencer. Good for him, though. Otherwise, you know, he's going to be some weird weird guy when he grows up grows yeah because if he kept with it like that'd be his whole personality it's like backpack oh, yeah. kid backpack kids still wearing backpacks <laughs> can i get a Even veggie that's just yeah veggie up see i bet he he thinks about it every time he has to wear a backpack he's like he, just, really he looks at that backpack and he's like i don't want to wear this backpack <laughs> it's like when batman puts on the mask mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see one apple one pump <laughs> Maddie B Raps has also done a career change. I don't know if you remember Maddie B. I do not. He was like uh, kind of big around Justin Bieber era. Little blonde kid, uh, rapped on YouTube, like family friendly stuff. Oh. Got clowned on pretty hard. And now he's back on TikTok making fun of his old persona. Oh. Yeah, quite the poetic transition if you ask me. All right, I need one more apple. You need this, dude. Uh, and then... I wonder what, uh, I wonder whatever happened to, uh, Fred. Oh, <laughs> dude. That's a name I haven't thought about in a long time. <laughs> Remember when dude, he had that TV iconic. show where, uh, John Cena was his dad? What? No. There's... Sorry. It was, like, multiple episodes? Yeah, Fred had a Nickelodeon TV show and John Cena was his dad. I knew he had a TV show. I didn't know John Cena was on. I never watched it. I think John Cena was his dad. I know he was in it. How does that work canonically? Like, <laughs> John Cena's too well known. He's too famous. True. You know, he'll take over. He he would outshine Fred. Mm. Wow, Let's pretty see. good hit here. Yeah, I like the portioner. Dude, now, this, you're right. This door is a pull door. He's a YouTuber now? Wait, no, he was a YouTuber then. Low sign. He's back. Fred was ahead of his time. He was both perfect perfect for his time, but also now he'd be some massive like hyper pop star. 
You think so? You voice. think if Fred I, if Fred came out now, yeah, you think Fred would succeed? I would think he'd be massive. I think he would be undoubtedly a massive, massive YouTuber. Even if he started from zero, doing his exact same shtick for the first time ever right now, he'd kill it. Uh, I think he would get bullied. <laughs> what? Would you, you would bully Fred? You're messed up. No, not me. <laughs> Why would you have that as your first thought? I would bully that kid. Better not say that. Okay, he would get bullied. What the hell? I'm just saying. Like, Fred started in like 2006, but now like there's TikTok going around. I think Fred would just I, get bullied. I, I think the times have changed, man. I don't think people are bullying kids. Kids aren't bullying each other anymore. They've given up on that. That's fair. Combiner here. Uh. Do you want to buy the metal table or no? Kind, kind of, just in case we have it. Yeah, I think, I'll, yeah, I'll just bucks. buy it and I'll turn it off. I think I think Fred, I actually used to think Fred's voice was real. I, like I thought this guy sounds like this in real life when I meet him. Mm -hmm. Only for my disappointment to be insurmountable once I realize the truth. Dang. Kids are ruthless now still? No, they're not. Buy, uh, buy that they're freezer. They're way nicer. Just to have, right? Yeah, just in case we get like a soup or something. I'll put it here. Okay. Um. Had a kid scream, you just got roasted in another after telling him their shoes were untied. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know if that's bullying. All right, ready? Yeah. Here we go. You want a knife? Uh, no. We're so just looking for research, right? Uh, yeah. Let, let's agree to research. Well, I have to actually be very careful what I make because we don't have a lot of counter space. I mean, we have the same amount as last time. His but last like in round. general? Yeah. No, I agree. I can put some more. Oh, let's wow, see. Nice. I can put like another counter on my side. I can put a couple more counters on my side, actually. Okay. Like one right here and here. I guess have some places to put it. Got it, got it, got it. I'll or we could, one do, of uh, we could do like prep station. Prep would be huge. Prep would be big. Got the meat. Okay. Awesome. Shkabam, shkabam. Well, and then we're, uh, we're getting what, mushroom today? I hope so. All right. I need one apple. Okay. I feel like apple's got to be the worst, right? Uh, yeah. Or do you think? Not... Or do you think pumpkin? Right now, apple because we have compactor bin. If we didn't have compactor bin, it would be pumpkin. Mm, yeah. Easily. Oh. Uh, you can just put ooh. it in the sink. No, I can't. You can't put it in the sink? Oh, oh, I can put it in this one. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was trying to put it on the plate. That's why. Okay. Do you want the mixer? or Do we really hope for research? I think we're hoping for research, man. Okay. I think it's worth it. Day 12, we don't have much scaling, that's why. Yeah, that's true. Another veggie. Do you think you'd be good at running a restaurant? Mmm, I don't think so. I think there's way too much involved. If you were to run a restaurant, what would you serve? Probably something I would probably only serve like one menu item. Like I would I would like I would be like the five guys type of guy. Like I we only serve burgers and fries. Oh well, I need a meat. Oh we got a meat. Meat in here. It wouldn't be burgers like you specifically. Do a burger, jo burger joint? No, I, I just know? think I would only serve one thing. I think having a menu with like like Cheesecake Factory, for example, seems like way too much of a headache. Oh conveyor might be kinda of worth the yoink. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of late anyways. Yeah, I just I just think, like, stick to, like, one or two things and Can do them check well. The order, check the order? Yeah. Two veg. Oh. Yeah, stick to one or two things. Then I think it's easy on you. And I, what about I, barbecue? You like barbecuing. Uh, true. Yeah, barbecue's not bad. Like, oh, you just have to, you have to get your main stuff, and then you have to uh, just figure out, like, the sides, which aren't too crazy, I don't think. Let's see, one meat. 
I think barbecue would be really hard. You have to like get up at two in the morning or something to start your fire. Oh yeah. There's a lot of places Brutal. around here that like are only open like three days a week. Uh, and then like the other wow. four, they, uh, they're just like prepping and like smoking stuff. Yeah, and then people do judge it harshly. Like they always, you know, if you open a, bur a barbecue joint and you don't have awards, no one's gonna go eat there. Oh, I know. It's so like, people are so harsh. Cruel world, man. Cruel, but then if you just open a burger world. place, they're like, ah, these burgers are fine. Exactly. Yeah, the bar is very low. But they're like, I don't Why like the wood that? that this, uh, that these burgers were made right, with. Right, and you better have like a two-generation old pit master. Right? I feel like barbecue is kind of treated. I know all cooking is kind of treated like an art form, but I think barbecue more so than. Oh, like barbecue is the sushi of America. Yeah. That's a crazy statement. <laughs> that, that is a crazy statement. <laughs> but it is. Like, the way that Japanese or, like, a sushi artist will treat sushi is the way that a uh, pit master will treat his pork. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. You're good. It's, it's just one. This. Yeah, I'll be good. Yeah. That could be uh, good. It's only 20 gold. Yeah. I think that's worth the buy for sure. Mushroom pie. All right. We got all five pies. Okay, so I'll buy workstation here. The run has now only officially started chat. All the uh, the pre-chit chat, the uh, shooting the breeze was for nothing. It's not even gonna make the final cut in the video. Slam this one down here, slam this one down here. Gavin really opened our eyes on that by calling it the Sushi <laughs> of America. <laughs> Uh, wow, I'm kind of running out of room. You want to upgrade that to a grabber? Yeah. I do. Holy, automation's going to be brutal for this. Yes, because <laughs> pies take a lot. Yeah, and there we have, we, we need, what, five lines of pies? Uh-huh. And this is a weirdly shaped restaurant. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, we could roll because we have so much. I think you take the combiner out and then we roll and we really hope for, uh, like Something blueprint cabinet, research desk, stuff like that. Or another just, I'll or take just another get, conveyor. Yeah, just get two grabbers. Here's a coffee table for you. I was gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have some lines share crust? Oh, true. Yeah, we do like shared, uh, crust situation or maybe we're just making plain baked crusts and making it to order on danger hobs that could work too yeah i think that's the first thing we automate is just making crusts <clears throat> yeah so okay then mixer would be okay probably now and that combiner that we just rolled <laughs> uh you know what honestly combiners will take so long to make work we I guess do mixer I guess on. rapid mixer because you don't have to combine the dough into the water. You can just rapid mix it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I was setting up a, a combiner situation yesterday. It felt way more worth it just to let it mixer all the way down. Okay. Yeah. I'll look for mixer or research desk. Okay. Right. Do everything here now. So the workstation even helps with kneading. I, I think so. Yeah, it seems to be going a lot faster. Interesting. So if you have a rolling pin, oh, we need mushroom now. I got it. I got yeah, so it. if you have rolling pin and the workstation. You're probably flying. Yeah, those pies are already done. <laughs> Realistically, how much would you pay for a pie like this? Um, I mean, the, the proportion, like, in proportion to your chef, that pie is massive. But like one that would right, like it's the size of your head. One that would like feed me, like just like one meal. I don't know, like ten to twelve dollars. I think is good for like a hand pie, maybe. That seems expensive. Twelve bucks for a hand hand pie? I don't know. We what, don't we don't you know, have. Where do you get lunch? <laughs> yeah. When was the last time you had lunch under ten bucks? Right. True. Yeah, I feel like over ten it's bucks is kind of the standard. I, I mean, I I do I get the two for three at McDonald's every now and okay. then but <laughs> what's the two for three we don't have that here um it's like there's like four things and it, you, you just pick two of any of them and it's like three dollars and like 50 cents i think 
Wow. Let's see, a veggie. Yeah, so I get a McDouble and a McChicken. And it's uh, like after tax, like four bucks. And then I get a dollar Sprite. So my lunch a is... A McDouble and a McChicken here is about four fifty. So then almost the same. Actually, yeah. about the same price then. Yeah. With conversion. Yeah, so I just I get myself a little five dollar lunch at uh McDonald's every now and then. Okay, okay. Or they got the uh the four for four at Wendy's. Right, the classic. Uh huh. Is it still the oh, four for four at uh in Canada? We do still have four for four. Yep. Okay. The saving grace. We don't have a dollar menu though at our McDonald's. Uh, we don't either. It's just it's the value menu now. Oh yeah, see they did that to us decades ago. The, uh, no way. I think I'm looking for mixer. Yeah, or blueprint table. I'll take that yes. too. Yes, pumpkin. The drinks are still a dollar. Any size drink, a dollar. No, that's like a promotion though, right? But it's a promotion that never dies. <laughs> it's always there? It, it has been. Oh, that's like one of the greatest Canadian celebrations is dollar drink days of summer. And oh. McDonald's. And then the it's McRib? Like Monopoly. We don't have the McRib, I don't think. I've never had so, one, nor have I ever seen them. I, uh, I actually found out how the McRib works. Because, you know, like, people are always like, oh, the McRib is back. Also, we, uh, yeah, we, you got both. Uh, but, you know, it's like yes. the McRib is back, but it's like people don't know when to expect it. It's not like the filet of fish that comes every year, like, in the spring. Yeah. Uh, apparently... Wait, you guys don't have filet of fish all the time? Blooper cap! Do you want to grab that? Yeah. Nice. Um, I don't know if we have it all the time. Used to it was seasonal for, uh like a uh, lint like around easter when uh people didn't eat red meat right 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 um but the uh the mcrib is actually based <laughs> on uh pork prices interesting so whenever they can buy pork for a certain price per pound that's when they bring the mcrib back so that's why it's always like sporadic oh i believe that Let's see. We'll McDonald's is that type of organization. Mm -hmm. They're like, we can profit off the McRib only if pork only is Only when it's cheap, nasty pork when no one else wants it. We're <laughs> going to sell it to you. <laughs> All the reject pigs. These are the ugly ones. <laughs> Dude, did you know that um, Costco, on the topic of like livestock production, but Costco also is like vertically integrating their farms now to control their chicken prices. So they're becoming farm owners and competing with like Tyson. That's oh wow, wild. what a roll. I'll buy this metal table, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, no, Australia, I mean, I think, I think like Costco loses money off their rotisserie chickens, but it gets people they in the do. door. Yep, yep. And then, um, but if they own their own production, they can at least like predict oh. how much they're gonna lose every time and regulate via the losses instead of taking a, an L at the, you know, it could be anything, right? They, they don't control the chicken, they don't know. Hmm. I will say everyone goes on about the... Uh... Wait, let me think here. Yeah, we're good. Oh, everyone... wait, no, oh, shit, we need to fill that cabinet. Oh, eh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, everyone goes on about the rotisserie chicken at Costco, but like, I, I don't think I've ever bought one. What? You're losing money if you don't buy it. You think if you so? buy like 60 of those a year, you got your membership back in just chicken alone. All right, well, I'll I'll get one next time I'm there. Yeah, you're stealing from Costco, basically. It's okay. it's that good of a deal. I'll go I'll go get the rotisserie chicken and I'll get uh, a pumpkin pie and then I'll have a good week. <laughs> Hell yeah, that is a great Costco uh little gambit right there. Pumpkin pie, rotisserie chicken. The rotisserie chicken is very good at Costco. Highly recommend. You can definitely eat yourself sick of it, though. You know, so you what, get, like, what do you uh, like? Do you just have it with like some sides, or do you make um, a make a little sandwich? What do you, you do? You know what? If I'm feeling absolutely animalistic, I'm going in with the fork. Okay. Simple as that. You're just right? sit, sitting on the couch, putting a good movie on. <laughs> you got the rotisserie chicken in your lap. It, it, sometimes it doesn't even make it out of the Costco. Okay, it ends okay. up in the food court <laughs> at the very back of it. Are you want to grab that blueprint cabinet? You want another one? I think so. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If we're not gonna get research desk, that doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, you're just you're sitting in your car. You just rip the the <laughs> packaging down, open, right? <laughs> like a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I I I'll get whatever's like nearby the chicken, 
and eat it alongside. Okay. Then it's a brainless dinner for the evening. Easy. Hard to beat like the nutrition per dollar in, in a rotisserie chicken. Interesting. I might have to try it out. I've been eating a lot of salmon, but I, uh, I've been getting warnings of the mercury, so I might need to... <laughs> <laughs> what, your brain's a little foggy? <laughs> I don't no, remember I why you left the house anymore. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's just, my roommate's like, hey man, you've been eating a lot of salmon recently. Like, gotta watch you those. You've been eating a lot of salmon. Gotta watch Scooty. those mercury levels. <laughs> that is, for a roommate to be concerned, I'm now concerned. No, for I, you. I, I think I just had it for lunch and dinner one day. But like, uh, okay. like typically, like for lunch, most like most days, I just make, I just make salmon. Seven. Well, most days, I don't know, five days of the week. Yeah, I, I think you're. You need to be mindful. Yeah, I might need to mix it up. Yeah. Man, that'd be crazy. The descent of Scooty and his whole channel it's all due to mercury, mercury poisoning. poisoning. That would be a new one, man. That's he like ate a way very too much crazy. <laughs> tuna's the big one, man. Tuna's the one you don't want to be eating too much. Of. I've heard. Uh, I've heard swordfish is worse than tuna. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, you uh, pumpkin pie. Yeah. My uh, my cousin actually like was buying swordfish at a grocery store, and the uh, the butcher actually stopped him and was like, "Are you buying? Have you?" He was like, "I noticed you bought swordfish two times this week. Like, are you buying it for yourself?" And he what was the he heck? was like, "Yeah." He's like, "I buy it when it's on sale," and he was like, "You should probably only have like swordfish like once a week." <laughs> wow. I didn't realize it was that serious. Yeah, I think swordfish is like, is like the uh, tracking. I think swordfish is the worst. Like it has the highest uh, percentage of mercury of like fish that are typically eaten. I would never guess that. Like the higher up on the food chain you go, the worse the fish is for you. And that's, for the that's what I feel like. Like I think there's a ton yeah. of mercury like in shark, but most people don't eat shark. Right, right. Well, I mean, my people sometimes do. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, it, it has to do with like the food chain, right? Like and how how dangerous chemicals accumulate, mm. right? We eat little fish, totally fine. They can't eat that much mercury in their lifetime. That's why uh, that's why farm raised fish have like very little to no mercury, right? I do not know that. I maybe. Yeah, I've, I've heard like uh, wild caught has more mercury. Interesting. Let's see. What do you want to upgrade mm. here? Or do you want to re-roll? We should honestly roll here. Yeah. yeah. Let's try to get a research cabinet. Oh, discount desk. Ooh. Oh my goodness. We got what it a all. Hit, dude. Hold on. I'm going to move research out. Okay. That's why we don't go fishing on the planet Mercury. Oh, that's why. I'm getting it now. Of course. It's all making sense. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look up the symptoms of mercury poisoning. What is it? My skin turns a little green? <laughs> right, yeah, skin. That's the one I was going to think right away. You're going to end up looking like the Scooty alien, but for real. Oh, it'll be a little cosplay type thing. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Holy smokes, we have a crazy, crazy uh, research day here. Yeah, no, that was a, be a little careful. Though. That was a big uh, jump. Yeah, I feel like we had we like get... very little. Another smart grabber. I mean, we're going to need a lot of them, so. Yeah, I can bink it. Grab the last one, turn that into a copy desk, probably. What do you think? Uh, Yeah, definitely. Like we want both, but copy first. Yep. I think I look I still look for research and mixers. I'm down for that. Uh, goes like this. Oh crap! Cannot go like this anymore. Hold on. I can I can research at the start of the day. It, it's pretty far. It, I mean, it's, we're, we're, only, over. we're yeah, only yeah. researching one. For now, it's okay. I'm down. If you want to bring like this. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just plop it in the don't middle. I don't care. Here, yeah. Right. It's the customers that care. I'll, I'll research right in front of the customer. 
Then we get three grabbers on the next day. Wow, that's going to be expensive. Mm-hmm. All right, run it. We'll meet. Ooh, and we get copy. Nice. Another conveyor? No. We no, want... no, no, no. We have enough. We have enough. I think it'd be cool to do a uh, to do a run without research or cabinets. Um, you almost wouldn't be able to get that going though. I worry. There's a mushroom in the freezer, by the way. Okay. Or I don't know. Maybe some type of restriction. Because like you can you can hit blueprint cabinets off rolls, <coughs> or it's not you can hit blueprint desks off of rolls, and then you could use the blueprint desks to get other things you need. Uh, double pumpkin. Got it. I think... Yeah, I'm definitely, like, uh, struggling to see where the next... What's the next challenge category that would make Plate Up, like, still exciting, you know? Oh, I have a veg. Oh, no, that's a mushroom. Uh... There we go. Dude, I've been... Oops, how's it going? I've been talking about it. I talk about it basically every time I play Plate Up. Uh, let's see, I need a veggie. Yep. Honestly. But uh, they need to make a Battle Royale mode. Right, chat was telling me you were going on about it. Mm -hmm. They said, Gavin, stop Scooty. He's been ranting for 25 minutes. Yep. They said, I can't. It's out of my power. Have I told you about <laughs> the idea? Oh, can I get this veggie? Uh, pitch it again. Uh, oh, sorry. Right, you need the veggie. Uh, yeah, so basically, it's like a, like a food court. Like the doors right. in the doors in the middle, you walk in. Let's see, meat, please. We already have a mushroom. Oh, oh you have meat already. Oh, up we already there. have meat as well. Uh, yeah, and then you have like four kitchens on each side, so eight kitchens total. And then it's a, a communal dining area, like a uh, like a food oh, court. And then it's right here. it's whoever can serve the customers faster. And then like so every like you both uh, be trying to serve the same customer. Yeah, so it's eight like it's I mean it's basically it's like a mall food court. You have every single person's trying to serve the same customer. Right. And then like on day three, the person who has served the least amount of customers gets kicked out. And then how would you get to as long as you're the first person to serve, you get the credit for that customer? Uh yes. Like uh orders orders are taken. Like a lockout like, then. Yeah, so orders are taken like for everyone. So if yeah. I take if I take this order and it says like mushroom pie, whoever serves it first gets it. Right, right, right. And then you'd have to prioritize like, is someone going to serve that easy one first, or do will I get the crack at it? Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, and then like during uh like in between rounds, instead of getting like a ton of time to reorganize, uh whoever like opens their restaurant first, they get the option to serve first. So there's no downtime between rounds. It's just you have to do that fast as well. Right. Hmm. Two meats. And it makes it a little competitive. I think it'd be. I think it's a good idea. You said you got the in. You said you know the folks over at. Uh... I do. I do know the yeah. folks over there now. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Played up devs and dev community members. Are you guys writing this down? Let's see, one Close, of each uh, dessert. Okay. Man, these dessert pies are killer. Oh yeah, no joke. I I still like, it's still not as bad as potato salad. Potato salad actually, is oh, the yes. worst. Thing to serve. Uh, do you have to boil the potatoes before you serve them? Yes. Oy. And it's only one serving. <laughs> Oi. That is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Did we get nothing on our desk again? Just a counter. That's, That's all I saw. Crazy. We got the copier. I think these guys though. gonna want dessert. No? Okay. I throw that in the freezer. That'll help a tiny bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little freebie. Day 15! All hey, right. That wasn't so bad. No, I mean, we're down to eight. We got minus 15% every single card. Yeah. So. 